Good morning. This is JHS Weekly. I'm Mariah Vasquez. And I'm Michael Carney. Our, our lunchroom staff needs your help. Please keep our lunchroom clean by picking up trash and putting trays in the proper place. It would be greatly appreciated by those that follow your lunch period too. If you're interested in trying out for the 2018 Winter Guard team, there will be a meeting after school on Tuesday, October 17th at 4 p.m. in Miss Leonard's classroom, room D113. Miss Finesse is excited to announce that a group of Joplin High School students will be taking an exciting World Strides, World Strides promoted trip to California to explore San Francisco, Monterey, and Yosemite in June 2018. On this once-in-a-lifetime adventure, students will discover the unique ecosystems created when the Pacific Ocean meets the California coast and gain an appreciation for, for science and technology firsthand. For more information, contact Miss Finesse in room D203. This week, we're featuring one of the clubs at JHS. Here's Jessica Finnegan with more. If you have an instrument and would like to play with other students, it's not too late to join Jam Club. Jam Club is a club where we focus on uh, popular music, uh, such as a classic rock, rock and roll, rock, metal, blues, and then sometimes even jazz. And it's a club, there's no cost to joining the club. There's no membership fees, you don't have to pass any test. All you have to do is you know, own an instrument or be able to borrow an instrument and be able to show up hopefully once a week, maybe once every other week, uh, decide what kind of songs you wanna play, who you'd like to play with, and then put together a list of songs, practice them, and then be ready to perform. Joining Jam Club is really easy. All you have to do is touch base with whoever's already in Jam Club and you just come down to the choir room in uh, the Performance Arts Center and just, hey, this is the guy I want to play with or this is somebody who knows how to play the keys on this song. And uh, just, like I said, there's no formal membership or membership fees or anything. And so we'll have some people that will be here every week and then there's some people that might be here every other week or every third week uh, just to practice enough so they can get to the level of performance. Jam Club is a club that we have after school on Tuesdays, every Tuesday after school and our main goal is to get musicians in Joplin High School to come together and form music and that can be any grade, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, um, ranging from any instruments that they can play and singing is involved too. One of the perks of being in Jam Club is um, during the school year we'll have chances to play in the cafeteria for lunch and kind of show off what we've learned at Jam Club after school and eventually we'll get concerts going that we'll have here in the PAC auditorium um, that all the students can go to. My main enjoyment of Jam Club would probably be getting to meet other musicians and kind of teaching them what I know and learning from what they know. I'm Jessica Finnegan with Jet HD. Wow, it looks like a really neat club. Yeah, I agree. Thanks, Jessica. Seniors, do you need help filling out the FAFSA? There will be financial aid representatives available to answer questions and or help you fill out the FAFSA in the JHS Counselor's Office during parent-teacher conferences on Wednesday and Thursday, October 18th and 19th. Bring your parents and copies of their 2016 tax forms if possible. Students, be sure you are checking your emails daily to stay updated on upcoming events. Freshmen, the gauntlet will be held on October 23rd and 24th. Lunch will be provided, as well as a full day of games and competitions. Be sure to communicate with your Fusion leaders as the event approaches quickly. The JHS band will be adding a fifth quarter to tomorrow's home game against Hillcrest. Here's Emma Williams with more. Joplin High School Band has always taken a big part in Friday Night Lights. Come out this Friday to see them perform their entire show. Our fifth quarter band show is going to be uh, our full marching band performance, but instead of during it, doing it during halftime, we're going to do it during the end, at the end of the football game. Well, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be performing our entire uh, marching competition show with all of our full props and our full decorations. We're performing it this Friday night, October 13th, immediately after the home football game. I'd like to see everybody come out and look at it. These kids uh, work really hard and we've uh, got a, a really good show. It's very exciting. It's got some jazz. It's got a bunch of different stuff in it along with our decorations. So we would just like to see everybody come and uh, 
be a part of that, stay for the football game, stay after the football game, and watch us perform. This is Emma Williams from Jet HD. I'm going to have to stick around after the game to check that out. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Emma. Skills USA will be participating in Skills USA Make a Difference Week by hosting a canned food drive. Skills USA will be partnering with Souls Harbor of Joplin with the food drive running from October 9th to October 24th. Each class period will be competing with other periods. Franklin Tech teachers, guidance offices, and the FTC administrative officers will be competing as well. If the winning class collects more than the teachers and offices, they'll win a pizza party. The winning class will also get to deliver all the cans collected to Souls Harbor. Examples of things to donate will be canned goods, veggies are always needed, mac and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, cereal, oatmeal, tuna, box dinners, spaghetti and sauce, canned meats and chili, soups and ramen noodles. Portrait retakes for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors and staff are this Friday, October 13th in the Talon Room. Anyone who missed the first day is encouraged to get their portrait taken during their scheduled class period for English. If students want their portraits taken over, they will need to bring the originals back to give to the photographer with an explanation of what wasn't acceptable. Seniors who haven't signed up for their senior portrait can now make a reservation for the retake day, November 13th, in the Talon Room. This retake day in November will be the last day for seniors to have their portrait taken that would also be included in the yearbook. Earlier this month, Daniel Miller visited Stapleton to learn about a fundraiser the fourth graders started. My fourth grade teachers came to me and said that their students had heard about the hurricane, Hurricane Harvey, that hit Texas, and they wanted to do something to help. They put their heads together and uh, decided what kind of fundraiser to do. We collected coins, money, dollars in the jars up front and decided, uh, put out there that whatever grade level raised the most money would get to take me to the wall and get ice cream sandwiches. Our other plan was to have her wear a shark on her head for the whole day, but then we're like, no. Yeah, I put in a couple dollars so I could chew gum in class. When I did it, we had to make a giant X with our piece of tape. It was really weird. Fourth grade was determined to win because this was their idea. So I'm sure they went home and bugged their parents, their aunts, their uncles and grandmothers to give them money to bring to school. To be suspended for a good cause is a great feeling. So we end up raising $1,137. Reporting for Jet HD, I'm Daniel Miller. Thanks Daniel. Key Club is hosting an item drive for the Lafayette House which helps domestic abuse and sexual assault victims in times of crisis. Each day next week, Bring a different item to your first hour teacher or Miss Adcock's room, D319, to help stock everyday items for the guests there. Money, Monday, paper towels, Tuesday, Kleenex, Wednesday, toilet paper, Thursday, dinner napkins. Let's join together to do some good for our community. The FTC construction classes have been working hard this year. Here's Derek Graves with a look into the progress they've made. If you are interested in construction, you should consider taking Mr. Curtis's construction class. Right now we're doing uh, some wood joints for, uh, the, it's the five major wood joints that are used in construction. And uh, what I did is I showed them on a blueprint on how to build them and they had to go out after they learned how to do power tools and cut each joint out and put it together. Yeah, it's a very unique idea of what we do. Uh, you can make a lot of money at this job. Um, in, in our area and the local area and, and if you want to travel in it. Um, it's it's action-packed, non-stop. Uh, everybody learns it on their own. It's not one that you're going to just come out here in a group and do, do everything in a group. So it's in a lot of individual-based stuff. So the knowledge is up to you. If you want it, then it's here for you to get. Uh, some of the big projects we're going to uh, Last, like last year we built like many houses so each student had a four foot by eight foot house they had to build and we screwed it all together so they had to build a floor system uh, they had to build a wall system a roofing system uh, and so on and so forth and then we got together as a group and then we did roofing and then we did siding and a window and a door in it so they could see the full part of how to build a house also I have three pieces of equipment that I'm getting ready to teach on too that I actually I take you out and show you how to operate three pieces of equipment. This is Jerry Grace from Jet HD. You know that looks like a really awesome learning experience. Yeah, it sure does. Thanks, Jared. This has been JHS Weekly. Have a great week.